Hey everyone and welcome to another interesting day on planet Earth. I know a few of you must wonder when you get my messages why I comment another interesting day on planet Earth. It's because you need to be in the position of an observer, not necessarily playing on the field. Uh, because from that position of the observer, you can see the whole picture and not just a microscopic amount when you're on the field. And so it feels very much like perhaps for some of you, you are do feel like you're from another planet. We call them star seeds where you feel like you'd like look up into the heavens and sometimes go, I wish I could go home. And then there are the earth beings that are here who are, have come with a certain project. They're in the school of earth where they're here for, for development. And then there are the beautiful earth angels uh, who are from the angelic realm that hold the coding and the truth of our connection to the prime creator. So we hold the knowledge of truth. We hold the, the wisdom and also that connection. So often you'll find people who are holding that will have a nine in their birth date in somewhere. And so predictably, obviously, everybody born in the 1900s has that connection to the creator. But what we are doing for the people born in the 1900s, and I dare to say that's nearly all of you who will watch this, is that we're here to show all those that are born after the year 2000 that there is something um, protecting and guiding them. And it's very important to remember that we do have invisible helpers. We have, everybody has a soul guide. Everybody has a team around them that are assisting them. And unfortunately, over the years, we've just been taught not to converse with our, uh, our team at all that are helping us. We've taught to look to the outer world for our solutions. And it's in the outer world disconnection that we not only experience the disconnection to people around us, but ultimately we feel the disconnection to ourselves and also the prime creator, which is the ultimate, especially when you consider all the children that were born after the year 2000 that don't have a nine in their birth date. They um, are definitely feeling the disconnection and with the disconnection is also the loss of hope um, because your point of reference is the people around you and not anything in the invisible realm. Now, I know for many people currently that are experiencing uh, what seems a lot of trauma and certainly like the box of our matrix is getting tighter and tighter and tighter. And we're feeling like we've been dumped on the planet and said, good luck <laughs> on your way and hope it all goes well. And this is where many people are caught up in the game of going into the outer world looking for guidance and we know that most of humanity is sort of given their power away to other beings such as governments etc where they say oh if something goes wrong no you need to fix it it's your responsibility to fix it and really it comes back to ourselves but when we kept so busy with out world outer world dramas the last place we look to is into our spiritual reality into our spiritual development because you're kept occupied with the fear of there isn't enough money, how am I going to put food on the table, and just the general pressures that we are all part of. And definitely money is a huge trigger at the moment for people, and that's certainly um, a theme I'd like to say in the collective consciousness, especially this year. So the last thing you want to go to, as I said before, is go into your spiritual world because somehow there's been this total disconnection and feeling like well that's the unseen realm and it's not going to really make a difference to how I feel in the here and now but you have to realize that what we're seeing in the outer world is not just something that was created last year this has been going on for at least 10 years if not more in some instances the disconnection has been going on for um, thousands of years and so as we move through the world, it's really um, important if I can recommend that you spend a little bit time in your inner realm. And that's really simple. You know, my go to always is go into nature. OK, it's getting a little bit cold. At least go in and do a little bit of journaling uh, with yourself each morning or night 
to get the inner wisdom. And I, I very much know that one of our colleagues that we work with, um, she's very caught up in what other people are saying, um, perhaps who have a spiritual slant on things, but her wisdom's coming from the outer source and not from her inner source. So with a bit of encouragement, Brian and I asked her to start doing some journaling. And she, as soon as she got off the call, she did about an hour and a half of journaling. And I'm not saying you need to do that, but she, there was so much wisdom and so much understanding from her soul um, that she needed to get. It just took that time to unpack. And so her point of reference then was, wasn't so much the outer world then, it was like, okay, there's wisdom inside. And that gives me hope that everything is divinely orchestrated and I'm not just sitting there random. But if you're looking at the news or you're watching the television, it'll cause you to feel like there is no hope. And we have to remember that we've managed to get through four years and and eons of times, uh, thousands of years as well, uh, evolving. But we've always landed on our feet because it's all been um, to help each other. And I was speaking with another one of our colleagues uh, in Brian's and my hydrogen business, and he was, um, he's very much in the third dimensional world and that's his background in corporate and things like that and when he comes in and hears how we do business how we talk about the spirit of HSA or um, how we unpack that um, about the people that we attract into the business about the business that we attract you know it's really rattling his paradigm of what he has been taught to believe and I dare say that's exactly what has happened for you you know you're having your paradigm shifted in some way and of certainly anything that is still of um, shadow to you is definitely in your face because as you probably heard me say in previous times the any discord in your outer world now is pre in your inner world is projected to the outer world with people and situations so it's in your face to deal with and if we look at all the events of the world, especially what's happening and what we talked about in the New Earth Academy of Eternity is that all those events, they don't go anywhere. They don't sort of poof and go into space and they don't exist. They still exist and they affect us in the here and now. And it depends on how, how you've harmonized or if you've harmonized it in the past and also in the future. Because now's the only moment we can change. One of the things I'm going to talk about in our upcoming New Earth Academy class is we're going to talk a little bit about hope, but I wanted to touch on again what I said in my last message about working with a group of people um, in France where we're every night we're reading the resurrection and then there's a little bit of short talk or some questions around that. Now I've been through that book, The Resurrection of People and Eternal Life. From now on, it's your reality. Um, lots of times, many times, but every time I get another layer. And I know that some people just think it's about bringing people from, who have gone back into the physical world, but it's much more than that. It's about really understanding how our reality is created and then how we can all, um, resurrect ourselves as far as rejuvenate ourselves during an illness or whatever. So this is a great book because it has all these little facets to it not only does it explain about you know soul and consciousness and um, a prime creator and spirit and all the rest of it and why we need a body and how the works it has all the 31 days of Gregory grab a voice teaching so it's a brilliant book i like to dive into and really it's been fun to read it out something about hearing and seeing it at the same time that adds another layer to it so we're going to unpack a little bit tomorrow and just talk a little bit about hope and and also um, what we've been uh, talking about and huge lot of practice because people don't spend time practicing um, generally they are fairly lazy because they're again caught up in the outer world drama so before i go today i'd love to just give you one of the number sequences from Gaguri grab voice books number series for psychological norming book one and it's a number series for hope and so this number series has some gaps in it you will um i will put it down below in this video but i'll also um speak it and you'll hear me doing uh, a short pause and this is where the new information because 
what the number sequence is doing is um, erasing and harmonizing where there is distortion of no hope. So what I'm doing is I'm placing into the field, the unified field, the information of hope so that it becomes, if we want to look at some geometry, it becomes a structure of our reality, just like all the um, things that we've lived through, through the um, programming of disease in our collective consciousness, that has a structure that people hold on to and mull over and talk about. But hope, where there's hope and promise, is also a structure that we can bring strongly into the collective consciousness mind. So this is one of those number sequences that you can even have written on your mirror in the bathroom or close to yourself on close to the skin within one centimeter vacuum that we have around our physical body attracts the information of whatever's on that um, and I know I had a friend who used to write number sequences on her cash register so that every time her staff were there they would see the number sequence but not understand what it is but the, the person's consciousness and their soul would understand the light language of the number so here is the number sequence for hope. Four, eight, nine, zero, six, one, seven, one, nine, eight, eight, zero, six, one, eight. So I'll put that number sequence, as I said, down below so you can have a play with that. Now, the other way to use this number sequence is when you look at it in its toe total amount of numbers have a look where your eyes are attracted to you so say for instance your eyes are attracted to the 719 this means that there's some information in your field around you that is not in not in the um the harmony of hope and so by focusing on that those three numbers with the objective to harmonize um, all hope in your life and what happens is that this number sequence as you focus on it and you put your consciousness on it it starts to brighten up and it's almost as if it goes back into line and all the numbers seem to be shining the same so that's another way to use it and it's probably a favorite one of me of mine and if you're a little bit more advanced you can imagine a silvery white sphere with the number sequence written on the inside wall and perhaps you can see yourself inside the sphere with your, with the objective and then just notice what happens between you and the number sequences so i'll give you an example um, this is where we call it playing uh, so you allow your consciousness to show you and you have to trust that what you're seeing is absolutely real so sometimes I see number sequences and they start spiraling and they start spiraling around me in the sphere, a little image of me in the sphere. And I just watch and see what happens. First of all, sometimes it forms a pillar of light. Um, sometimes it has color. Um, sometimes it's extremely dynamic, meaning it's spinning very fast. And then sometimes it just becomes a solid pillar of light. And while we're in the pillar of light, then and i'm observing what's happening i'm just noticing what i'm feeling in or around my physical body so sometimes it's a tingling or a warmth or all of, all of a sudden i feel a pressure say in my throat area or my third eye and without trying to unpack it and say why is this happening why do i feel it? it's like i'm observing i'm the observer on okay this is interesting i'm observing my body responding to this and this information is being harmonized in the unified field and certainly in the area where of where I create my reality. So if you're lacking a bit of hope today, uh, I hope this message gives you a lot of hope. See everyone uh, next time and uh, with another message. And remember, unplug from the world and plug into your inner world. Bye.